And you know what I loved about that? Beyond the music, yeah. it's all the young people that are participating. It's not just a bunch of old geezers with fiddles. It's awesome. Yeah. Not like Roland. Six, 67th annual. Yeah. 67th annual. That has been going on. I mean, it's For a, a long beautiful time. setting. Weezer yeah. is just in a beautiful location. But uh, to think that that's been going on so long, and apparently the uh, the organizer, I talked to her today, and she says, oh, man, it's just we're just packed. It's a great event. Yeah. So I, you know, if you're looking for something, it goes on through the weekend. It's like, it's like the Woodstock of the Treasure Valley. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. Hey, folks, take a look at the live shot that we have right now from the top of Brundage, and we see the Long Valley there in the background. Blue skies, great weather. The snow is melting off of those high elevation mountain peaks. The river levels are gradually dropping. The reservoirs are sitting nice and fat, which is great. So temperature readings right now, 88 excuse me, 83 degrees in Ontario, 78 degrees in Caldwell, 79 degrees in Boise. We are about, I'd say, six or seven degrees cooler than it was yesterday at this time, and the temperature is going to be getting even cooler yet. In fact, tomorrow we get as cool as it's going to get, all the way down to 65 degrees. That's what we call a lot of cool air being pushed into the area by the cold front and the associated trough that's going to swing through. Very unusual for this time of the year to see temperature readings in the mid 60s, uh, 82 degrees. Usually we have any kind of temperature swing. It's usually on the upward side, but it's not going to be hotter than average at all. Friday 69, Saturday 77, Sunday and Monday temperatures back to near normal. But this is what's happening right now. There's the front that's wiggling on through the Treasure Valley. It is this front that's going to push on through. And as it does, it's giving us this northwesterly flow. And that's the mechanism that's grabbing the cooler air in Canada and it's pushing it down into the state of Idaho. So cool and windy conditions tomorrow with winds easily 30 to 45 miles per hour tomorrow afternoon, all up and down the I-84 corridor, staying on the cool side on Friday because a trough of low pressure swings in and we may pick up a couple of mountain showers. For example, take a look at the future cast. Through the day tomorrow, spotty showers are possible in the mountains. I don't expect to see much in the Treasure Valley itself, but then as we get into Friday, again, another surge of cool air, moisture moves into the region, spotty showers for the mountains. I think we'll see a mixture of sunshine and clouds in the valley, but it looks like it's going to be generally dry in the Treasure Valley, but the mountains might see a little rain. In fact, some elevations above 6,000 feet could pick up about an inch of snow or so between late tomorrow and Friday. 70 forecast for the valley will go with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies here for the next couple of days. It's going to be cool and windy tomorrow, partly cloudy on Friday. Gorgeous weekend with temperatures warming back up into the upper 70s and near 80 degrees. So nice stretch of weather for the festival and for any other outdoor activities you got planned. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right.